Hello everyone, I'm Zhou Fang from Huawei Global Training Center, Data Communication Department. Today we'll talk about IP address and routing. First, uh, let's review about the data encapsulation. In previous chapter, we have learned uh, what inside of one packet. This is IP header and this is upper layer data. This is what we call a packet. This packet header including uh, IP header, source IP address, destination address. Uh, in this example, it has this address. So today let's analyze about the address. IP address identify a network device uniquely. It is made up of 32 binary digits. This IP address we talk about is talk about IPv4. Uh, IP address is shown as dotted decimal format. It has two parts. The first part is network address and uh, the other part is host address. They both together uh, create an IP address. This is classification of IP address. Uh, because uh, we have different network size, such as the very large network, maybe it should use class A. Uh, class A is network uh, only have only has eight bit long and the first bit must be zero, and the left part, the host, host information is 24 bit long. So that means there's uh, many, there's many hosts inside of one network. And uh, class B, class B is uh, the host number is smaller, and the length of the network will be uh, 16 bit long. And notice the here. The first and second by uh, first bit will be must be one. The second bit must be zero. This is class B. Okay, uh, class C is uh, what we usually use. Class C is first, second, and third. They are fixed, fixed cannot change. One, one, zero, and left twenty-one bit is. Uh, with this 110 become to class C network information and the left is host about 8 bit long. Uh, later I will introduce how to calculate the host number from this information. Okay, uh, class A, class B and class C they are unicast address and then this class D, class D is uh, multicast address. Multicast address can only be the destination IP, cannot be the source. Okay, and then class E. Uh, class E, this range is not used. It is called reserve, reserve IP address. Special IP address. Uh, the network part and host part, when they are in special uh, value, it means a uh, special function. First is about uh, if the host part is L L zero, but a uh, network part is uh, not L zero. It can be any. That means network address. This type of address cannot configure on uh, our physical interface because it is belong to a network. It describes a network, not be describe one host. And then network, uh, uh, if there's any, and the host part is all one. Uh, that is binary all one. That means uh, a broadcast address. Uh, you know, in IPv4, if we need to send, sometimes we need to send in the broadcast message from one host to all the other host. So this address also cannot configure on interface because it belongs to broadcast. The third one, 
uh, one two seven, the host port any. This is called loopback address. Loopback address is only for locally test or locally process use. It can we cannot uh, connect to and forwarding traffic to the other host like this. This is only uh, used by local. Uh, and all zero. All zero means all network part and host part are zero. That means a uh, default route. If all one, that means a uh, broadcast address. All nodes will receiving this address broadcast. Private IP address. Uh, here I hope you can remember this range. Class A, class B, and class C private IP address. Uh, this this kind of IP cannot be cannot forwarding, uh, cannot rotate on internet or the other public network. Only can be used in private network. Subnet mask introduction. Uh, what is subnet mask? Subnet mask. First, it is similar to IP address, uh, but the rule is a little different. The subnet mask from the first bit uh, to the to to the last one, from the left to right, the left must be continue one. Continue one. Uh, for example. Here is class B's subnet mask. Uh, 255, 255. This 255 means 81. This is also means 81. Uh, we cannot use this part 0, this part 1. That's the rule. This is network address and subnet mask. When we conf uh, config on our computer, we need to input the IP address and the subnet mask and uh, if we use this subnet mask that means your network network part is like this if this bit is 1 that means this part is network part if this part is 0 that means the address part is host so compare with the IP address and the subnet mask if this is zero, that means this part is the host address. If this part is one, that means this part is network address. Addressing without subnet. Uh, this is class B TAPCO uh, mask. We use the class B TAPCO mask. 255, 255. All of these three uh, hosts. 172.1630.1 uh, uh, mask 13 mask length is 13 all of this use the type code class B mask and uh, but different IP address so you notice they are in the same uh, same network but different host IP and next is Addressing with subnets. If we want to use not type code uh, subnet, maybe smaller one, we can uh, divide this big class B segment into smaller by using a bigger mask. This is a, uh, another example 172.16.8.1 slash 24. That means the mask has 24 bit long. Uh, the length is similar to a class C address, but uh, uh, it is used the prefix of class B. So it is, this is not a typical, uh, typical address. But the network uh, host number will be smaller. This side, uh, even the first two fields they are same but because they use the uh, smaller network and bigger network mask the net, uh, host number is only here only this one 
or this one. So the first part actually they are different. So these two hosts they are not in the same network. We need to use the two router connect to each other. Subnet mask uh, representation. Uh, this another IP address. Uh, subnet mask. Here you can notice all of this one is continue and only when this part is zero this is the host host IP the other part is all network part okay and here's the bits of subnet mask 8884 uh, together is 28 that is slash 28 okay we can use this way to describe this IP address and subnet mask calculation of network address uh, this calculation uh, this is originate IP address this is binary mode and here is the subnet mask okay if we know the subnet and IP address we will know about the network part because compare with these two parts if this is one if this part uh, mask is one all of this is network part so uh, put it together we here is network address calculation of host number host number first we need to know about the mask length uh, the mask length we use 32 uh, to minus uh, the mask length the left part are host host number here uh, all of this information we use this uh, to calculate if we have a <coughs> very big uh, very big network we need to put this more zero more zero in this field we need to uh, if we have the big network if we only have a small number of hosts, uh, this zero number can be smaller. Example of host number calculation. Uh, <coughs> this example slash 28, only 4 bit left. So we calculate uh, this number minus 2, that means only 6. Why we minus two? Because uh, in one network we we have one network address. We also have one broadcast address. So uh, these two address cannot be used. The left part except these two. Uh, the other number, the other address can be used. Uh, <coughs> this is variable length subnet mask VLSM. Uh, when can we use this VLSM? This is a topology. There's one ISP and the router. This is uh, this is maybe a core router. This is RxS router. We have the network address here. Uh, if we have this network connect to the router, and we need to uh, advertise the route advertise the road to this side what will happen first you notice the slash 27 is not a typical class address slash 27 and here is slash 30 slash 30 uh, so how to advertise the road to the ISP if we if we only have this address 192.168.1.0 if we use the typical slash 24 we only have one network that means our address is not enough we need to apply for more address but if we uh, put this network uh, mask uh, bigger and this uh, host number smaller we can divide this this uh, segment into smaller one 
one, two, three, four, totally eight, eight net subnet masks, uh, subnet. So this is a function of VLSM. It can divide big network into smaller to reduce your address costs. This one is a reverse way. It is called CIDR, Classless Interdomain Routing. What is classless? That means the mask. This is the originate address. Originate address. From this address prefix, we noticed that it belongs to class C, class C address. Uh, but when we want to announce this all this route to the internet, we don't want to announce this smaller network because the number is really big. We want to advertise a big network, and this smaller one is inside of this big road. So we also call this big road is aggregation, aggregation road. We only advertise the aggregation road to the backbone of internet. So the advertisement uh, packet number information is smaller and quickly, and also can help our network stable. If this network or this router down, all of this, uh, all of this network is still in the item of this internet. It will not change. Will not cause any. Uh, will not cause all internet road convergence. So uh, this aggregation road will prevent uh, road flapping or road. Uh, or the other problem of internet. In this chapter, we have learned the classification of IP address class C, uh, class A, B, C, D, E, except of E, the others are used. Uh, subnet mask and VLSM and CIDR. Here's the question uh, What is the private address range? Uh, this is defined in RFC 1918. So all of this 10, 172, 192, class A, class B, and class C. That's all for this chapter. Thanks for watching.